Welcome everybody. My name is Scott Meyer. I'm a financial analyst at 3E Management and TSM Financial Models. My primary areas of focus are multifamily and distribution waterfalls, but I also have experience with office, industrial, hotel, um, and a couple other property types as well. Today we're going to be talking about concessions in real estate. So when we talk about concessions in real estate, it's really important to understand which property types are the ones that are more prone to having concessions. And really it's going to be your property types that are more lease driven. So for example, multifamily buildings, so like an apartment complex, you have tenants that are coming in and signing you know, year long leases. You know, similarly, you have office buildings or industrial buildings or even self storage and retail where you have tenants that come in and are signing long term leases. Given the term of these leases, landlords are okay, you know, giving up a little bit of incentive to get people in and sign these contracts. And what we call these incentives to get in and sign these contracts are concessions. So there's a couple kind of concessions that we're going to go over today. We're going to start with the most common one that you'll see out there, and that is free rent. So free rent is, you know, it really depends on the length of the lease that you're signing and the dollar amount. But for like a multifamily building, for example, free rent will usually be in the form of, say, two weeks to a month of not having to pay your rent. And so you sign a 12 month lease, only months two through 12, or is the tenant actually going to have to sign a check and send it to the apartment building?